here's the deal. We're here on Christmas, getting the truck ready to go on the Georgia Traverse tomorrow. And I'm in a onesie. What are we doing? Tomorrow we're going on the Georgia Traverse, but I got a few things that I got to do to get ready in order to go on the Georgia Traverse So let me show you what I do. The first thing is let's get all the maps set up Actually getting my Garmin eTrek 20 um, set up and this is as close to a hard copy map as I will ever get All right, so now what I'm gonna do once I have um, The backcountry pulled up is I'm gonna import the tracks um, As you see Georgia Traverse is right there once I import those, it's going to ask me. And Backcountry Navigator is really good at um, giving you all kinds of uh, help screens along the way and telling you what you're fixing to see. Um, you can turn those off, though. So I'm going to name this the Georgia Traverse, obviously. Okay, so once I've imported the files into the Backcountry Navigator, as you see here, um, it's going to show up. And that is the whole Georgia Traverse. You can just simply draw squares over the whole entire thing it does not matter if it overlaps and what you're doing is you're selecting these areas to download now the next thing that we have to do is get all the stuff to pack with us all right so for just me to go on a solo trip is going to be a little bit different packing style than when christy and i went on our big trip uh, this is the kitchen box and i'm only going to bring this one box uh, this has everything that uh, from, you know, what you would find in your junk drawer to what you would find in your cupboard. All right, so now we're all set up, ready to roll. I've got the uh, two five-gallon jugs of water. I got my makeshift bed, which I'll show you whenever I get there how that is. It's just basically two rolled up mattress toppers from Walmart. I got my kitchen box, which you saw earlier. Um, the only thing I didn't show you was... I put in my Coleman stove and my cast iron uh, skillet in there, uh, which I, I didn't show you, but you'll see it. Um, got my five pound propane canister, got my fridge, got my jacket, got my toe strap. We're all good there. And then I got uh, up front there, I got the sleeping pad and then the sleeping bag, cold weather sleeping bag. Got my headlamp across the seat. Should be good to go. Now I just need my clothes. All right, so we've got the maps, we've got the food, we've got the junk that I'm bringing with me. Uh, I think that's it. Oh yeah, I got to change out of my onesie. All right, so here we are at 6.50 in the morning. It is the day after Christmas and we're on our way to the Georgia Traverse. We're all packed up. I just turned on the fridge. It's 36 degrees on the inside of the fridge and it has not been on. It's 34 degrees outside, so it's fixing to be a cold ride. Stopping by Walmart to get some groceries and then we're on our way to Helen, Georgia for the Georgia Traverse. We're going to be running the eastern half of the Georgia Traverse. I met up with some guys on Facebook. It ought to be pretty cool. So I'm really looking forward to it. We're going to have a great time. I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so I'm leaving Walmart, and I realized that I left my pillow and my blanket. And Walmart did not have a Mr. Heater Buddy. So I didn't pick up a Mr. Heater Buddy. Hopefully we don't have to have it. It should be all right if I just get uh, the blankets. Uh, between that and the heat in the truck, so I, I should be fine without the heater, buddy. Fresh out, uh, I guess because once it got to the 30s in South Carolina, people freaked out and went bottom. Anyway, so now I'm headed back to the house. Luckily, it's on the way, um, sort of. So I was thinking while I was on the, uh, the hunt for some groceries, I was thinking of how incredibly unhealthy I eat, not uh, just camping, but in general. So what are some good, like, what's a good spot, what's a good resource that I could go to to actually get good, healthy meals to cook, uh, you know, camping and, and grilling and stuff like that? I think that'd be pretty cool if anybody knows of any of those. Closer and closer, we're coming up on Helen, Georgia. It is 10:45 in the morning, and we are almost there. We're gonna stop by the Dollar General and catch up on some inventory and baby wipes. I forgot to pick those up, so those are always good to have with you. The solar shower, I didn't fill it up with any water because it is supposed to be cold, so um, I wasn't gonna fool with that. All right, so we got a Forerunner Ford F-150. 
F-150 and excursion. I think I might have hooked up with the Ford Overland Group. Got Apple. And then we got a Jeep here. So we're fixing to have some fun. He's already been out pre-inspecting the uh, trail. So he's already out. So Avery's lucky because he's going to take the uh, the new 4Runner that he got um, out on the trails and he's not going to have to worry about anything because he's already he's already got an insurance claim that somebody else is paying yeah, for. Exactly. So we're just going to run with Stick that. Right. So now it's official. We've upgraded, right? So we're here with these guys and we're fixing to take... This will be the first time that I've ever trail ridden with any kind of uh, electronic device. So this ought to be fun. We're on channel 13. We got uh, a couple Fords with us. We got another Forerunner Limited, and then we got uh, Tony over here with us for or his Jeep Cherokee Overland Edition. He's uh, he's already got it muddy, so we're good to go. We're getting ready to roll up here. We're starting in Helen, Georgia. We're gonna be gone for right at five days, and uh, I'm stoked. Let's roll. All right, so we are on the first part of dirt on the Georgia Traverse. Kennesaw Lane. crossings on this trail uh, which is pretty cool so if you're in water crossings and like going through water crossings this is a trail for you it's the Georgia Traverse uh, we've only traveled about 21 miles so far Avery was saying that it's probably gonna take somewhere around uh, three to four hours to get to the campsite he's got planned for tonight so pretty cool now he did say that he's taking this um, particular area uh, with uh, both a Jeep um, and a Subaru so you know you should be able to make it in just about anything with all-wheel drive I would imagine I've got it in all-wheel drive you probably don't need it or four-wheel drive rather probably don't need it but um, I always like to have the extra grip if needed especially with these big, you can't see them because of Avery's rig, but there's big ruts in the road that we just straddle over. sound good that don't sound good the front end or whatever's grinding you didn't hear it all right so my man up here in the Ford F-150 I can't remember his name he's got something going on with that front end as you can hear in the last video but I guess we're just gonna I told him to run it until it pops <laughs> some clanking and popping going on with that truck up there. You might have got it. Sounded like it just wasn't engaging in four-wheel drive is what it was, but I have not a clue. 
I do know that I just ran through a mud puddle quite fast trying to catch up with the group here and forgot my window was down. So that's always cool, right? Yeah. So the, the Ford in front of me, the apparently the four-wheel drive is not working. Um, he had it in four-wheel drive, but you can hear it, it's just not engaging in four-wheel drive at all. Is it too soon to insert the Ford on the trail being worked on, or? Just make sure it's his Ford, not mine. <laughs> Check out Apple's red cousin, huh? There's Tony in two-wheel drive. All right, so we're back on a paved road of the Georgia Traverse, and we just pulled over, and it looks like uh, one of the guys with us, the guy with the F-150, he's gonna run to advance, and supposedly it's a pretty easy fix um, that we can do at the at the campsite so he's going to go run to an advance that's in town it's probably going to be about an hour and a half to hour and 45 minutes uh out of the way for him so we're going to keep on trucking he's going to meet us back at the campsite he'll be a little bit later than us getting in but uh but nonetheless hopefully we can uh, get that part on him for so that way he can have four-wheel drive for the rest of the thing because right now he has no four-wheel drive supposedly the it's a common problem in those things so we'll see People travel all over trying to take pictures of that. Do keep looking. <laughs> hey man, that's all we <laughs> At about 5:45 in the afternoon, and we have set up camp. It's got a nice right off the road here. Got a nice uh, little stream right next to us. Make for some good sleeping. It is 30 degree lows though. Holy cow! 
and Walmart was out of Mr. Heater Buddies. I got a little rooftop tent there going up, pretty nice. And then you got an off the back truck tent there. And you got just a standard tent here. And then you got my sleeping set up. Let me show you what we're working with. All right, so we've got camp set out. Take a look now. So it, there's still some tweaking that's going to be left on this, but I'm testing out for uh, whenever I build my platform. Uh, so that way I kind of I, I kind of already uh, know what I need and don't need to do whenever it comes time to build it and how I'm going to want it. Um, so now I've got it set up to where I'm ready to sleep. Um, and then I can actually make it to where um, all the containers are up on top of the roof if I need to. Uh, but there, I don't see any need to um, for right here. We got a group of, you know, five of us. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's a group of five of us. Um, a hasty retreat in the middle of the night is probably not going to be um, anything to worry about. So I'm not going to worry about it tonight. Uh, I've got enough covers, hopefully. It's supposed to be 30 degrees tonight. They got a fire going, which is good. As you guys know, whenever I camp, I typically don't do a fire, but I do have firewood because it is supposed to be so cold. Um, so the whole top half of apple is, is covered up uh, with firewood. So um, other than that, yeah, I'm getting ready to cook dinner. Let me show you my bed setup, and then we'll go into cooking dinner. Okay, so this is the bed setup. As you can see right now, the cargo deck is slid all the way out, but the bed's gonna go right in there. Uh, where everything normally would fit um, It's just all I've got is I've got the I, I put this down because some of the water dripped But I've got this Coleman sleeping pad All right, and it's got a hole in it right over here. So that sucks Then I've got two two inch or excuse me two inch and a quarter um, Toppers from Walmart. So it's about three inches total I guess um, Or you know two and a half inches or whatever and then I've got the sleeping bag, and then up there I've got another cover. So we should be good to go. Should be. If all else fails, I'll just crank up the truck, run the heat. Ta-da, right there. Boom, so they was out of Cholula at Walmart. We got a Valentino. We're going to try it out. We're going to rock it out. 